the art and science of economic analysis. As being discussed in our introduction, you have the grasp already that economics is both art and science. It is a science because by studying and solving the economic phenomenon, you have to employ the scientific methods such as identifying the questions or defining relevant variables meaning, determine all the relevant information and all its components to solve any problem. It is a science because you specify assumptions identifying all the possible solutions to address the setback. It is a science because you have to use a hypothesis the tentative solutions as the basis for further investigation. It is a science because you have to test the hypothesis proving whether your options of the problem are effective or not. If you apply such processes and determine that your hypothesis is useful, keep it on. If it is not, reject it and modify the approach. Economics is an art because by using the economics method to solve the problems, you have all the skills in gathering and analyzing facts to come up with hypotheses. We often confront economic issues due to scarce resources. The problem is that our needs and wants to exceed the resources we have. Our concern is to allocate those resources wisely to satisfy our unlimited needs and wants. Therefore, the reason to study economics is the proper allocation of scarce resources to obtain the utmost satisfaction. Needs and wants are limitless, and possible resources are limited, therefore, the economic problem exists. The forces that shape economic choices is due to limited resources over unlimited ones. You need to choose among products because you cannot purchase them at a time with a limitation of money. Economics theory refers to any assumption about economic behavior. Face-to-face -face class in the university happens if there is a specific vaccine for COVID-19. The quality of online education attains if there is a strong signal of internet connection. These are all economic theories. If the projection performance becomes real, that is known as economic reality. The economic pitfalls are the fallacy of composition, the fallacy of division, the fallacy of post hoc or ergo propter fallacy. The fallacy of composition occurs with the assumption that holds for part of the system also holds for a whole, what is true for a part is also true for the whole. Since you play lawn tennis well, therefore all members of your team play well. Atoms are not visible to the naked eye, cats are made up of atoms. Therefore, cats are not visible to the naked eye. These are all fallacy of composition because these statements are misleading. The fallacy of division is the exact reverse of the composition. As composition goes from the part to the whole, division goes from whole to parts. The logical fallacy of division is A is part of B. B has C attributes. Therefore, A has C attributes too. The fallacy of post hoc occurs by assuming that event occurs before the event. The first event caused the second event. Since the expansion of the company proceeded by rising prices, it is concluded that the remedy for depression due to COVID-19 is to raise prices of the commodities. The 10 reasons to study economics 1 is that you will be an economic forecaster. By studying it you do have the knowledge to forecast future economic behavior. 2 is that you can easily advise to any economic problem by using the scientific method. 3 is that you know diminishing returns. It is an economic theory after reaching the optimal level capacity of production. Adding additional factors of production will result in smaller increases in output. Every decision that you make corresponds to side effects from the as opportunity cost. Spending $200 of liquor equals hangover. 4 is that you have rational behavior where you choose an activity that optimizes utility. 5 is that is a very humorous subject. How can you define the invisible hand where the context is invisible? 6 is that in economics gets you a high paying jobs such as a credit analyst, senior product manager, personal financial advisor, certified financial planner, etc. 7 is that it is better than to study geography as stated in previous reasons. 8 is that economies of scale, you will be able to save cost by the increase in production. On the other hand, economics is the subject that is contradicting yourself as seen in a highly desirable attitude. 
The best way to save money is that when you have income, immediately deduct saving based on the percentage of your preference 10%, 20%, and so on. The remaining amount is intended for your ex, but the result is that when you receive income, the most likely to happen, you spend it right away, then nothing left for savings. 10 is that you always know the reasons why someone is unemployed or underemployed. By watching and listening, you have a thorough knowledge now of economics whose nature is both science and art and have the advantages of studying it. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share.